uh, and I got actually the edges, not the corners. Now let's look at the centers. This center is rotated correctly. This one is not. So I have to put a corner in front of me. So this is what turns here. This is an easier corner for me to visualize because it looks more like a corner. So I'm going to do it with this. Now you can see why I don't really care about these triangles yet. So it's going to be R, U, R, I, U, R, U, R, I, U. Okay, we come to here, and then we get the corners back. One time made me have to go like this. Yeah, now we're going to get the edges back by doing R, U, R, I, U, R, U, all right, you. So that turns this back. So I'm now I'm just going to follow suit and do the same thing. This one will turn also. So with the corner in front of me, R, U, R, I, U, R, U, R, I, U. Now you can see it's not right yet, so I've got to do it again. R, U, R, I, U, R, U, R, I, U. Okay, now you can see it's correct. So with this corner still here, I'm going to move it to this edge. Now, it does take these corners out of sync. Now, before I just turn it once, but now I've got to either turn it twice this way, clockwise, or just move it back like this. It's not hard to figure out. Just find what corner fits. The corners are going to be in again. Now I just have to move the edges in. And that's by holding the edge in front of me instead of the corner. These corners are here and doing R, U, R, I, U, R, U, R, I, U. And then we do it again. You do it as many times as you need to get them in. R, U, R, I, U, R, U, R, I, U, and you find that the edges are back in. Now we're going to stay here because now I have to rotate this one. So with corner in front of me, R, U, R, I, U, R, U, R, I, U. And do it again. R, U, R, I, U, R, U, R, I, U. Okay, these corners are out. So I'm going to move the edge in front of me and simply move this to where it belongs. In this case, it's here. And I'm going to have to do my rotation twice. R, U, R, I, U, R, U, R, I, U. Once more, R, U, R, I, U. U, all right, and U. Okay, so, so far so good. This center is rotated correctly. Any other centers, this one is rotated wrong, so we're going to put that in easily. So these two are wrong. Turns out that most of them have been wrong. R, U, R, I, U, R, U, R, I, U. And again, All right, you. Now that it's rotated correctly, turn it over here, move my corner in, and do it again twice. R, U, R, I, U, R, U, R, I, U, and again. And you. Okay, I think we have one more center that's rotated wrong, which is this. So once more in our super, oh no, we've got two more. So we'll just put both of these in. You are, you are, I, you. 
over to here, swing this back this way. R U R I U R U R I U. Okay, now we just have this last one to put in. R U R I U R U R I U. This is in, and finally this moves here. Swing our corners back, and finally R U R I U R U R I U. Okay. Now, it usually doesn't take me that long, but it turns out that every center happened to be rotated. I probably could have helped prevent that, but that's okay. It's not that fast, it's not that long of an algorithm. So now all these are in. So this is the easiest part, yet potentially the most harrowing part, and that's putting these in. Now, for this, I always try to put in at least two, maybe three in. This takes a little bit more time to do that. So, I'm going to do a little bit of positioning. Here's a yellow and orange right over here. So, these three, if I move it over here, yeah, this, this, and this are going to be participating in the redistribution here. So, I'm going to move the one that belongs here, which is this, into this position like so. So, this will go here, this will go uh, here, and this will go here. So, if we do it twice, this will end up over here. So, let's go ahead and do it once. And uh, the way that that's going to work is this will go down, and then down, down, up, and up, down, up, up. Okay, so now this will come to here, this will go here, and this will go here. Now it would be nice if I can move another one in, but I don't want to push my luck with that. So I'm just going to do it to show it. That's down, 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 up, and up, up, down, up, up. You can see this is in, and I'll just move this back. So that's pretty much it. That's what I'm going to do all around the puzzle. Okay, so as you can see, a great span of time has passed uh, between the last one. I was actually on vacation for a while. So now this is the part that's actually the most fun of the of the sequential solve because really what I'm doing is we have to do a lot of deconstruction and reconstruction. We know the algorithms, but uh, we have to do some messing around with this. So. I've got to put the right one in here, it's this one. So I'm going to move this into this position here. To do the algorithm, this will come over to here. So how can I position it where I can get maybe more than one in? So this will go here. Obviously we don't want this to be affected. So I can just kind of tool around and see what else I can use. This one, uh, um, this one I don't want to use, nor this one. Okay, so basically in this situation, I've got to get something else into here. So having a little hard time finding a configuration there, so let me turn this back. Um, these two are already ready to swap, I just have to find something here. If I can put something here, just to kind of move things away from each other. So I'm just going to do a little playing around with this, maybe move this to here. And then i got to move something in this position. Okay, so there's this position here. So I can do an exchange, this to here, this to here, this to here. Eventually this will come back to here if I do that two times. So why don't I do it like that? So that would be a down, 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 up, and then up, down, up, up, and then one more should put this one in. Now maybe, and this one will come into here too. So actually, I'll put two in. I think so. It's going to be down, 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 up, and up, 
down, up, up. I think I put three in. Yeah, that looks much better. Okay, now we'll move, whoop. Gotta make sure I do this right. Find my way back home correctly here and here. Okay, so this is an interesting configuration. So I gotta do a couple of swaps, but that's not gonna be easy. So this is gonna be a whole lot of moving around. Maybe it won't be as hard as it seems if I move things into right position. Okay. Actually, that's not too bad because this can come here, I think. So we're gonna go down, 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 up, up, down, up, up. Okay, so this is in. Now this can move to here. We do want to move this one out of the way, so might as well put this to here. Okay, I believe you just have three to go. So now this is the big push. Can I move this guy into, well, this position here? By any means possible. So it might mean a couple of steps that I'll have to take to get it there. So I'll move it to here, and then to here. And I think that'll do it. Yeah, okay, I'll just have to find my way home. This to here, this to here, and this to here. So that's gonna be down, 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 up, then up, down, up, up. Okay, everything should be in. I just have to properly find my way home. Shouldn't be too difficult. This moves here and this moves here, and it's done. The Axis Octahedron is now solved with a very fun sequential process. What I really enjoy about sequential solves is that there's a lot of potential variabilities. So a very, very solid solve experience. Another great triumph of design and application by Raphael. So I very much look forward to doing further face turning octahedral solves, especially by Raphael's work. Thanks for watching.